While the construction of the Guam and Chamorro Educational Facility continues to take shape, it's also had its share of setbacks and experienced numerous delays. And basically she stressed that there's poor planning um, involved. Gita Administrator John Rios is referring to the recent weekly address by Speaker Judy Wampat outlining several issues with the construction of Guam's first permanent museum. A number of things occurred throughout the course of the facility's construction that hampered it. This resulted in the project ultimately exhausting its $1.1 million set aside for change orders. Rio says for a project of this size, it's not that bad considering the $27 million budget. So if you're looking at a million dollars change order, you're only looking at about 4.5% in change orders, which is, is, you know, it's pretty low compared to like if somebody was to do a hotel or so they would put maybe about a 10 to 15 percent contingency amount. Rio says the change orders include strengthening the building by reinforcing and adding more piles. Juan Pat meanwhile says it was the location that was also a problem. Early in the museum's conception, we were warned about the old swamp land in the now decided Hagatnya location. However, we idealized the museum in historic Hagatnya despite the fact. We are now paying for this decision, literally. In order to accommodate poor soil bearings, a deep foundational piling system had to be constructed. She says the legislature is racing to find additional funding for the museum and meet the promise to be functioning in time for FESPAC. You know, there always could be better planning, but you know, um, with, a, with a site like the museum site, I mean, it's close to the water. Um, it's not until you start doing other tests that you will find out that, okay, a change order is needed. Wampat adds the goal is to make a proper preservation and cultural education institution that our children will be inspired by. If there is a lesson to be learned from the building of the Guam and Chamorro Educational Facility, is that we should have been more knowledgeable throughout its conception and construction. Construction is set to be completed by December 29th. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.